Welcome to another informational video from Saturn Alliance about Microsoft Small Business Server 2003. In this video we'll look at Microsoft Exchange Server 2003 which forms a core component of Microsoft Small Business Server 2003. The first thing to note about Exchange on Small Business Server is the fact that it's the full product. It isn't cut down, it isn't hobbled in any way. The limitations placed on Exchange Server are those that are inbuilt with Small Business Server, typically restricted to 75 users in total and one Exchange organisation. The majority of management for Exchange Server is done within the Active Directory, within the user area of server management. If you double click on any user that you've created in your small business server, you will find that there are a number of tabs relating to the exchange functions, typically email addresses, exchange features, and exchange advanced. In email addresses, we'll see for this user which email addresses they're set to correspond to. So for example, robert at satinalliance.com.au will go to this user. I can add a new one, I can add ex edit existing ones, or I can remove one. I can also choose which one of these email addresses I want to set as a primary address so that when it goes out of Exchange Server, that's the email address it will be stamped with. We click on the Exchange Features tab. We'll notice that for each user we can configure whether Outlook Mobile Access, Outlook Web Access, POP3 and whatnot can be enabled or disabled. Finally, the Exchange Advanced tab allows us to do things like hide this user from the Exchange list as well as control the mailbox rights. Once again, all the individual settings for Exchange for a user are handled within the Active Directory within Server Management. Management of the Exchange server itself is normally handled by the System Manager which you will find in all programs Exchange, Microsoft Exchange, System Manager. The first thing we'll have a look at here is under recipients, under recipient policies, we'll see we've got a default policy. Normally we only have one, but it's possible to have a number. Right mouse click on the policy, select properties, and if we go to email addresses, we'll see here that this Exchange server has been set up to respond to the domain satinalliance.com.au. This means that any mail sent to this domain will be responded to by our Exchange server. We'll then take the email in, check the user in the Active Directory, and if the user exists, we'll deliver the mail to them directly. The next thing to have a look at in the System Manager is under Servers, under our server name, the first storage group and in here you'll find there are two stores. Basically the private, which is our mailbox store for all our users, as well as our public store, which corresponds to our public folders. If we open the mailbox store, underneath we'll see a folder called mailboxes. If we click on that, we'll see a list of all the users and all the mailboxes that are on our exchange system. We can quickly and easily sort these by size, by items, logins, to give us a better idea of what's going on in our server and typically you can use this to determine who is currently occupying the most space on your Exchange server. Apart from the system manager within Exchange, you'll find a number of files and folders on the hard disk that correspond to Microsoft Exchange server. Depending on where you install this, they'll be in Program Files, Exchange Server. The most important folder probably is the one noted as MDB data. This is where the low level data files for both the private store and the public folders reside. priv1.edb and priv1.stm correspond to the private message store, where all your users store their email. pub1 and pub1.stm correspond to your public folders. You'll also notice in here there's a number of log files Basically, as the messages are delivered to Exchange Server, they're put into log files, which are eventually rolled in to these priv and pub files. The total space occupied by Exchange Server 
is the combination of the prove.edb and the prove.stm or the pub1.edb and the pub1.stm. Now for Small Business Server 2003 without Service Pack 1, this limit is normally 16 gigabytes of total mail space for the private store and 16 gigabytes for the public store. If you have Small Business Server Service Pack 1, which includes Exchange Server Service Pack 2, these limits are 75 gig each. A quick and easy way to tell what version of Exchange Service Pack you have, you simply go back to the System Manager, open the servers, right mouse click on the server, and go Properties. When the information about the server is displayed, you will see the version, 6.5, the build, and also the service pack. So in our case, on this server, we have service pack 2 for exchange install, which means the limit of our information stores for our private and our public folders is 75 gigabytes.